Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nursing Home. I am your host today. My name is Chef. How's everyone doing? That's good, that's good. Well, me on the other hand, I'm not doing so great. I'm not doing great at all. See, this little fucker right here thinks he can get away with this trade. He wants to trade nine leather for one emerald and get one pair of pants. And he wants to trade three emeralds for a pair of pants. You son of a bitch. You know what we do to people with bad trades? We feed them to the fishes. Get out of the way, shorts. We feed them to the fishes. Feed them to the fishes. Yeah. Yeah. That'll teach him a lesson. Let that be a lesson to his friends. Just watch him drown down there. Just watch him drown. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops, we fell in. We're feeding ourselves to the fishes. <laughs> yeah, just drown, punk. Oh yeah. Shorts is going down. Shorts is gonna go save him. Don't save him, Shorts. He doesn't want to be saved. He doesn't want to be saved, Shorts. Yeah, I think he does, actually. But, uh, anyways... There's a reason why we're over here. We're not just here to kill villagers. <laughs> kill Shorts villagers. Watch him go rescue the minecart. Is he dead yet? I think he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> he went to get the minecart. <laughs> Anyways, there's a reason why we're here over at Shorts' place. And that reason is Shorts' bedroom is looking a little, uh, little lonely in here. So I figured I'd, I figured I would, uh, I figured I'd make it feel a little cozy. Oh, hi, Rain. That's not going to make it feel more cozy. But this is uh, Shorts' little place, and I'm going to make his whole world feel more... Ooh, diamonds. How did Shorts miss these? That's crazy. These are right here. I don't know how he didn't get those when he was playing, but anyways. We are going to go make Shorts' bedroom feel nice and cozy. See? He's got all these item frames with these items in here, and I feel like we should add one more item... Can I put that there? Yeah. See, he's got doing the most, the mog, and the pushier. He needs one more item to make it feel right at home. Chef's foreskin. Perfect. That's just the perfect, uh, perfect item. Anyways, I just wanted to show that real quick. Give Shorts his little, uh, little foreskin back. And we're going to make a quick cut, and we'll be back at the fishing village. We'll be right back. Alright, and we are back here in the fishing village in a little fishing hut. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple things before we get started on anything. Um, on this fishing dock here, I, I narrowed this down to four. It was five, but I didn't like the way it looked. It looked like it was just floating there, just sitting, not doing anything. And with the way Minecraft works, is I know it's just going to sit there, but it should have been rocking for me if it actually if I wanted it to feel real. So it didn't feel real. So I pretty much attached it to this just to make it kind of look tethered up compared to what it was because it was just like this on both sides and that's just not just sitting there attached to nothing so I did uh, narrow this by four I'm gonna have to narrow all of these down by four just pretty much do the same thing um, I have not done anything on this bridge yet just because I haven't been over here really but I did manage to work on some more of these roofs Ooh. Please get down, thank you. I was working on more of these roofs. I decided to add the uh, the extra little nipple on the end on most of them, <laughs> on all of them now, because it looked a little flat without it. I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like how flat it was. Please open, thank you. So I decided to add the nipple on the end, and I think it looks a lot better with the nipple on the end. Um, it kind of makes it feel like a little more uh, roofed just because uh, it adds a little bit. So I managed to get, oh, all except for one block. I left this side empty because I might, I think I'm probably going to put more houses in here. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave that up. So I'm probably going to have to cover that. Oh, no, it's raining. Beautiful. So I'm probably going to have to cover this up because I'm probably going to put like another house or two. Um. I don't know, like right here. I'm going to put a house here. And I don't want to show myself building these houses because I could show it, but I would just build, be building a hundred of the same house pretty much. It's just the same house over and over again, which, which reminds me. 
I made these doors. Oh, well, you don't belong there. Who said you could go there, guy? I made this door. Yeah. Well, I'm just <laughs> not succeeding at anything right now. I made these doors to put down there. I didn't put it there. So I'm going to go run down put this there real quick. I think, oh no, never mind. We don't need a torch there. Wrong side. Whoops. We want to put it on this side. Perfect. That way, the zombies can't knock the door down and it looks closed. And I got a couple more doors I can just place somewhere. Doors. Get your doors. Here's a door. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a door too. Perfect. So now we got more doors. More houses. Christmas. It's not Christmas, by the way. Sorry to get your hopes up. But yeah, I think this is looking all right as of right now. Of course, I'm going to bring the path down here, and then I'm probably going to turn it. I don't know if I should just turn it down here and then have this row of houses facing this way. I guess it wouldn't be a row, it would only be two houses. So if I did something, if I like put these here, hmm, mm -mm, mm -mm. of course I might have to erase this, but, okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad if I put the front, uh, put these as front of the houses, front of houses, front of the house. And then I could add like another set here. See, we're, we're going to start curving this. So there's going to be a path right down here. So we're going to want something. Well, we got one, two, three, four blocks. So we'll put something like right there. Let's see how this turns out. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out for our, as far as our layout goes. Mm-hmm. Because I want it to kind of like line up evenly with everything. So I might... Ex oh, there's just so much. There's just so much thinking into a village. Like with a village like this. There's just so much thought process. Because I could bring a path down here. It gets real narrow here though. Holy cow. I think it'll be all right. No, it's not going to be all right. We're going to have to move this. Definitely move it. But there's just, like I was saying, there's so much thinking. I could bring this all the way back to the wall here, and I could just have like some houses on the wall and then add another row here. Or I could curve this around. And that's the difficult thing is I don't know what I want to do. There's just so many possibilities. Um... But that's not what I wanted to do in this episode. What I wanted to do in this episode was invade Shorts' base. Check. Um, senselessly kill a villager? <laughs> Check. Well, actually, no, that wasn't senseless, alright? He's trying to rip us off. He's buying our... <sighs> hmm. Rip it off. Alright. In this video, I kind of wanted to get a little bit of the, of the, uh, the shop stalls going. However, it is turning nighttime. So you know what? Actually, you know what I can do? I have the authority. I have the power. Oh, I did that backwards. Well, that, maybe I don't, maybe I don't deserve this bed. I don't deserve it because I can't make it right on the first time. There we go, and we'll just sleep in it. Make it day. Hopefully it stops raining. Mm. Brought to you by alcohol. Delicious. <laughs> Not really sponsored by alcohol. But, anyways, back to working. Back to working. Oh, so this is, has a huge cave on the bottom. I might have to fill it in. Uh, or I might have to add something to it. I'm not sure. It's not going to be easy. I mean... When you initially start a project, like I said, you think you're just going to go in, you get so excited, you think you're just going to go in and just crank it out, just start build, 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 but then you run into all these difficulties that you uh, you forgot about. Like, for example, I really can't build on this with this uh, 
this cave system down on the bottom. And another, oh, ruining my video zombies. Another thing on here is, so this has like the, uh, the two little, um, like a little small bay and then a little bit bigger of a little bay. A bay inside a bay. Bayception. Is that how that works? I don't know how that joke works. But, anyways, the thing is the dock, I can put the dock anywhere. Like, I can put the dock over on this side, and I can have the goodies all piling from over here. I can put the, the dock here. I can put multiple docks, obviously. Hi, you want Tango? Hi, cutie. I could put the dock along this um, this edge over here. I could even put a dock in this cave. This dark, dark cave, if I want it. So that's the thing. I guess I'm not ready to make this. But I do want to get a little uh, a s kind of a start on it. So I guess what I'm going to start doing. Um, let's give him a C this time. He deserves a C on that test. But I guess what I'll start doing, I'm going to start by putting in the first stall. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it looks. Because, like I said, this is going to be very difficult with this, uh, this little cave here, cave system. So we're going to have to do something about it. Um, yeah, let's take this out, and then I think, oh, good morning. I think I'm going to put the first stall up against this little, uh, this little wall here. That'll be a good, good place. Tear out some more of this dirt. Oh, and I fell down. Alright, so cover this up. The grass will grow, I promise. Count on that. And I didn't want to make these stalls too big. Uh, just because they're going to be stalls. We're going to have a few of them in here. And we're going to have little uh, little guys trying to come in and out. How do you make new fences? I'm going to need way more than that. Holy cow. That should be good. Yeah, yeah. So let's get some fences here. Uh, yeah, that should be good right there. And we're going to need to do we did. You know what? I think I have... Actually, I have half slabs. Never mind. So I think we'll throw some half slabs. It's going to be very simple because I don't want this to be, like, too uh, too big. Kind of like your simple market stall. But they're not going to be, like, side by side like the houses are. We're going to put a little bit of gap in between them. And that's too high. We don't want a three high. We're very picky with how we build things. So if I have it like that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, nope, I'm just all over the place, holy cow, I can't place a block for my life. Yeah, I think we're going to do something like this, you know, the basic pattern, and then on the side we'll close it off with Red on this side, red on this side, and this guy will have a nice little, uh, little cozy, have his back to the thing. Put something on the ground there. I don't know what material. I guess we can leave it dirt because these guys are, these are just stalls and you should be able to move them. Should I put this in here? Or is that, I think that's closing it off too much and it looks not great like that. So I think we will, uh, leave that off and I think it's looking okay um, it does kind of look big it looks a little big we'll have to tweak it we'll have to tweak the roof the reason why it looks big is the roof for sure the roof is definitely why it looks big maybe if I took the little sides off maybe if I took those see what we get there yeah, hmm, I don't like the way that looks. We might have to just go with carpet. Carpet might be the way to go on this one. Just because of how big these blocks are. I mean, we're just making a little canopy over. A little shade. And of course, because we have the gap, we're going to need some string. 
this is way more difficult than I was expecting. Not difficult, but tedious, I guess, time consuming, I don't know. So, let's see how this looks. And like I said, we're going to need strength because we, oh, you know what? I just realized, I don't know if this can be because, oh wow, we're full. So if I, oh come on, give me some room. I wonder how it would look if I made this middle portion like that. And then I just, yeah, we're definitely going to have to work on this. This is a whip for sure. Work in progress. And then on the back side, why not get some more fences in here? Why not? Throw some fences. We might have to use string on these ones, though, on the back side. See, how do we look? That looks better, except for the fences. I'm going to have to remove the fences, replace them with string. Definitely hide them. Because I don't... Yeah, these, it looks too, uh, too big. But yeah, that's how it's going to look without the fences, pretty much. I think that's the way it's going to be, and we're going to have a few of them just all spread out through here because they're going to be selling some fish to these guys coming in. These guys coming in here, they hungry for fish. Anyways, I'm going to take a cut here, and we're going to finish off this episode in just a second. Oh, it's not raining. Be right back. Alright, to end this episode, I just wanted to take one quick glance over at this side, uh, just because I've started on the little dock down there. Uh, not the dock, but the pathway down to the dock. So I have these... Well, I guess I finished the pathway down, but... So I put the stairs in here, it makes a little turn, another turn, and I go straight down. And from here is where I'm actually going to put the ducks. Jesus, <laughs> look at all these freaking animals. There's just so goddamn many of them. Oh my gosh. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to bring this either straight across, or I'm just going to curve it around here. And then this is where I'm going to put two maybe three bigger size ships um, big ships that you can just load stuff into of course cargo ships is what you would call them Ooh, I don't like that raise it up raise it up that's better <laughs> perfect look now it looks natural you would never even tell but yeah so I, I, I'm bringing this around uh, just because that's just what I started I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I already know. <laughs> I don't know why I told you I'm not. But, yeah, I think this is looking all right. Everything is coming into place that is gone forever. But, yeah, it's looking good. And I think I'm, it's, I'm ready to remove that because I already know how that looks. I can pretty much, I don't need to come jumping over here taking a look. It's going to look the same forever now. So, it's looking good. I like the way things are uh, shaping up here. Shaping up in our little two villages. They're looking alright. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, thank you for enjoying. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I hope you watch another one after this. Goodbye.